power to transform, to illuminate, to educate, inspire and motivate. Namaste and a very warm welcome to the Result Declaration Ceremony of Kalataru 2022, the second edition of the Inter-School Visual Arts Competition. We received an overwhelming response from schools across the city to participate in the competition. The artworks created by the students were a reflection of the artists themselves. Before we declare the results, I would like to request our school director and head of school, Mr. Sanjeev Bhatla, to please say a few words. Namaste. This is Sanjeev Bhatla, school director and head of the Oasis. I am happy to take this opportunity to let you know how amazing and beautiful your artistic expression has been. I have gone through every piece of painting, sculpture, craft and poster. It is of an extremely high standard. To share a personal secret, my hobby too is painting and photography. I was able to work on sculptor, batik and oil painting during my school days. This exhibition on a digital platform should transform the physical walls of educational institutions and spaces that are corporate as well. Anyone who simply enters the competition is a winner. Competitions allow you to see beyond individual images. You can consider your work as a whole, whether it's the first time you're doing this or the hundredth. Evaluating and re-evaluating your body or work is a fundamental part of being an artist. It shows you how you've developed as time passes, how you are improving, and what combined impact of your collected works might be. Each work has an individual essence, presence and impact, but it is also a part of great whole, and you need to be able to appreciate that. Putting together an entry for a competition encourages you to develop this viewpoint, allowing you to make more informed decisions about what you should be working on next. Another important thing about entering art competitions is to not focus on what you didn't get, but to appreciate the value of what you did achieve. Just because your artwork was not selected amongst the best does not mean it is not good or that you are not talented. A good painting can be rejected for many reasons and have nothing to do with your ability or skill. By observing the work of your peers, you have the opportunity to analyze and evaluate techniques and outcomes. I wholeheartedly thank the judges, Mr. Ankur Khare, Ms. Shivali Gupta, Ms. Arshleen Kaur, Ms. Rajni Jamwal, Mr. Jaydev Bhattacharya. Thank you for your valuable time. I know with such fabulous work by the student, it must have been an extremely difficult task to select amongst some unique work of art. All of this can be life-changing for any student who aspires to be an artist. Many thanks to the entire team of students and teachers for having put together this marvelous event. Congratulations to the winners and all the participants. My best wishes always. Thank you very much, sir, for the inspiring words. Let us now have a look at the judges of the event. Our first judge is Mr. Ankur Khare. Sir is a material explorer and dedicated design educator with 10 years experience in boarding schools, universities and industries. He is a workshop leader who is involved in design, visual arts and makerspace lab setup. He has the experience of a freelance designer, assistant professor, design and technology teacher and is the head of Domain Aesthetics. When it comes to art and design, he is passionate. He is a seasoned professional with a rich and varied background in this field. He strongly believes in developing learners holistically as it helps children understand themselves, their emotions and their mental duties. Our second judge is Ms. Shivali Gupta. Ma'am is a Master of Fine Arts in Graphics from Indrakala Sangeet University, Kheragar. She has received many awards which includes a gold medal in the Avantika International Art Exhibition near Delhi. She has also been invited to several camps as well as participated in many events like a painting camp organized by National Gandhi Museum and has been an active participant in the camps 
being held in her own college while and even after being a student there. She has also been a part of many important events such as a group show by Gallery Collective Stop at India Habitat Centre, New Delhi in 2007. She believes that everyone, even if they are great artists, should learn to appreciate fine arts and also work toward instilling this thought in the young generation's mind. Our third judge is Ms. Kajni Jamwar. Ma'am is a master and a gold medalist in fine arts from Jamia Millia Islamia Sculpture Department. She has an understanding of various material handling, experience of various tools and techniques of clay modeling. She has an experience of teaching in various schools. She has also been awarded many scholarships, such as National Award of Junior Fellowship from the Government of India, Ministry of Culture. She is into attending art workshops and has participated in many events, including annual All India Fine Arts and Crafts Society exhibition, annual Jammu and Kashmir State Art exhibition, etc. She has also been a part of Yantra Group exhibition at MF Hussain Art Gallery, New Delhi. Our fourth judge, Ms. Ashreen Kaur Sabargal, has a strong determination. She is a motivated and quick learner and is the founder of Ashleen's creation, which interestingly deals with waste bottles, jars, decorative pieces, party props, doodle sketches, candles, and frames. She is also in collaboration with event companies like Dear Loft Events India and is a member of several NGOs, including Joy. She has been awarded for Young Entrepreneur Dealing with Waste Products and is currently dealing in online business of decorative products made out of waste. Our fifth judge for the event is Mr. Jaydev Bhattacharya. He is a graduate in Hindi Literature from Mahatma Gandhi Kashi Vidya Peet, Varanasi. He has a diploma in photography from the Institute of Indian Photography, Varanasi. His works include cinematography, photography, filmmaking, lighting design, and layout. He is a freelance journalist associated with Sahara Samir. He is also associated with Mani Ratnam and Santosh Sivan as a chief photography coordinator on various projects and assignments. He has an extensive experience in commercial advertising. He is one of the best cinematographers in regional films and Gadwali films. He has also worked with Viscraft Entertainment India Private Limited. Filmfare Awards as Chief Photographer. He is a member of International Institute of Photography Council, New Delhi, a member of Royal Photography Society London, UK, and a member of Western India Cinematographer Mumbai. Thank you.